Hey there, internet and beautiful creatures of the beyond. Or, as it says in Italy, Ciao, ragazzi! Um, okay. Today, we are going to challenge ourselves. Because we're not challenged enough in this world. <laughs> so, um, I was looking online for various study subjects. And... I stumbled upon this. Well, I stumbled upon a few variations that I liked, but this one looked the most interesting because it has very sharp highlights and uh, shadows. And I thought it would be a nice, um, a nice exercise for us to play around with this. It's gonna take us a while to do it. Especially, I like this one especially because of the angle it's set up. As we can see, the, the axis, the interior axis goes this way, and then the transversal axis go this way. So it's a very weird axis. Plus, there is a little angle from the top as, as the photograph is being taken. This might be actually rendered. I'm not 100% sure. Although, looking at the material, it's hard to say, but I think it's a natural image. Though there might have been some retouches here and there, I don't think that one was in the background because the the focus is too good. So, well, maybe they used a very expensive camera. So who knows? Let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. So, as I was thinking, like this is going to be a very interesting thing because this is not going to be done in one episode, obviously due to, the, to, to how much details we have to address inside. And it might look simple at, for, at the first glance, but as you zoom in, you start to see quite a lot of smaller details that are not always uh, jumping into the main frame. So you have to always look in to zoom in like crazy. But those little details make all the biggest difference in how your subject looks as realistic as possible or as natural as possible. Okay. Oh, and there is also the beautiful part where we have some, um, some reflections here. And there is some diffuse lighting happening here and there. We shall see how we can play around. Plus, I really, really love the differences of this color. Uh, I think these are two different ring materials, or the outside rings, obviously. But who knows? I don't know exactly what the purpose of this is. I suppose it's a ring. Just a normal ring, but who knows? <laughs> okay, okay. So how do we start? Well, uh, at first I started to get a circle and make a nice perspective. So I did that, and we have this here. <laughs> Our circle is also over here, because we can edit it. But I thought that I'm going to keep one of these perspectives always here. I still think there is a little bit of a mishap here. Let's see. Let's roll the opacity a bit more. Oh, I see. So there is a light. Well, I didn't even notice that one un until I uh, went a little bit more further. Perhaps this curvature is a bit more accentuated. Because we also have to take in account that this is uh, chamfered. And we will have to figure this out as we go, how we will... Uh, we will create this effect. Okay, so that's the first step. Now the second step is to create an interior that cuts in through this. So we'll just duplicate this. Uh, let's go with a darker color, maybe a little bit more opacity. And let's play a little bit with our perspective. Although we would apply an offset, but I'm not 100% sure how this will affect it. Let's see. Offset all. 
and let's go with pixels let's say minus 20 uh, this is looking interesting let's go minus 100 uh, not necessarily the effect I was looking for interesting so no Oh, or maybe I need to change it above the perspective. Let's see. Where did it go? <laughs> um, interesting. And if we disable perspective, it goes over here. Yeah. So what happens if I play with the perspective a little bit? Interesting little creature. Well, this is tricky, but it surely is a lot easier to do than doing it manually. Although doing it manually is also an interesting Hey, move. Well, as close as possible, doesn't need to be perfect. Maybe this one a little bit more. Okay, I think that's the best we can do. So interesting, this perspective is a little bit off to this one. Not by much, but it is kind of interesting. Maybe this one needs to be pushed a bit more back. Like so. Tricky. But once you get it into the right position... Oh, and don't worry, I'll put the link of the image at the end. Um, to give the nice credit to the author that took this picture. Okay, so we have something here. Now let's see if we can create a little hack. Do, uh, can I be so lucky? Well, I suppose we can be a little bit lucky. Let's make this one a little darker so we can kind of see what we're working with. I think that works. And what should I do here? There are a couple of ways we can do this. We can either cover it. Hmm. Or there could be another alternative. Uh, actually, let's try this alternative. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to um, create it as a path, so I disable this thing, and now I'm going to duplicate this, I'm going to create this as a path, and bam, 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 we removed it. I'm going to hide this one, and we still have this. Okay, so that's a good start. I think I need to duplicate this again. No, not this one. This one needs to go to the back. Um, so this one, 
Damn it. Okay, let's make this yellow. So we have no issues with uh, what we have in front. So let's duplicate this again. I'm gonna create it as a uh, object to path. And now I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna also create this object to path. And let's remove this from this. And I'm gonna hide this one. And I'm also gonna disable this one. So now, if I go this one, I'm gonna make it full opacity. And this one, full opacity. <laughs> Couldn't have worked any better. Of course, we still have a little error there. But this is due to the angle since, well, it's difficult to do it. We can we can fix this manually if we really want to. But we got uh, we got what we came for. I think this looks okay. Um, now I don't know how should we approach this top side. Hmm. All I know is this: if We put this on 50%, okay? There is a little groove here, so... We have to address this. And maybe I have pushed it a little bit too much. But oh well, what can we do? We can always fix it later. But the idea is that we should create a little thing over here. So I would take this, I would duplicate it, and let's create an offset maybe. Mm. Let's go 10. Well, maybe 10 is a little bit too much. Let's go with a 5. Oops. And we should kind of move this one like so. Well, something along those lines, maybe a little higher, like so, maybe a little bit to the left. Let's try another color. Let's go with um, this green. Mm. Well, it's the best we can get. Maybe I can pull it, push it a little down like so. Because we don't need to go all the way around. It's going to clip somewhere here. And down here, we can also push it just a tiny bit. And there we go. So, how shall we mask this? This is an interesting question. Either I create this outside rim with this. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, this one is going to be set up somewhere behind this circle, something like that. And I clearly do not need this outer side, the interior. So I'm going to just probably going to end up 
doing something like so. Quick and dirty. So this is gonna be our mask. Let's make it full. And you're going to work with. I don't know if I, did I select it. Nope. This set clip. Um. Ah, sorry. I didn't realize I was. Okay, that looks kind of okay. There is still a groove inside, so maybe we'll uh, apply the same principles. Mm. <laughs> now thinking about it, it's kind of like, why did I... Let me re-enable that little line. Uh, where is it? Release. I can't release it from here. Let's try from here. Release clip. Well, to be honest, this is kind of working the, the, the way I intended. But I think we should duplicate this. Did I duplicate it? Oh, I'm not even... <laughs> I pressed the wrong buttons. Okay. Uh, because I still want to play a little bit with those things. Ah, now it's the part where I love to just select little things. So this with this set clip. And this one is a little bit too harsh. It's a little bit too big, so... We're going to push it a bit more like so. Perfect. And I don't know, I think I'm gonna expand it a bit. Not too much, just enough to kind of get it in that position. And now this is going to be behind the red circle as well. So we might just create something sort of like this. Ah, no, 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 that's too much. Uh, I actually think this needs to be more. Um, <laughs> more. We need more. Something like so. Uh, okay. I think I can survive with this. Let's set a clip. And... Oh, damn it. <laughs> it should have been the other way. Um, should it be the other way? No. Uh, set clip. Oh, yeah, it should be the other way because I'm clipping the visible. Sorry. Alt habits. Well, this is interesting. What did I do? <sighs> I did something. Suppose we don't need this part. Or this, or this, or this, 
more of this. Oh my god, I made so much. Anyway, let's just roll with it. Set clip. And this one has to be like so. Maybe I'm gonna do it a darker red so we can kind of see. Okay. Yeah, we can survive with that. Maybe I need to curve this a little bit because the angle is different. So I'm just gonna pull it a bit more like so here and a bit more like so here. Perfect. Perfect lemon. Hmm. Okay. Now, the exterior is gonna be a little tricky because we, for some reason, the, the details are lost here and here. I think this is due to the camera trying to focus. So yeah, maybe it is a natural picture. Uh, and when it uh, applied the, the focus, maybe, maybe it was even altered a little bit because this shouldn't look like, th like this. It should look a little bit sharper. And maybe it's the camera trying to compensate for the color loss and the details. But I think we could... We could try to make a few sneaky changes here and there. I don't know how it will look. Let's try with this first, just as an idea to see if it kind of sits there. Well... kind of like a yes and no situation. Uh, there is like this angle that goes and diminishes the, the range. So maybe it should be a bit like so. I'm just trying to get the edge right. This one is gonna be sneaky for us to do. Let's try to remove some of the opacity here and let's try to kind of do something, I don't know, something like so. Need to go, you know, we need to do an angle here to kind of help us. And as you can see, the circumference of this kind of... And I think that it's the camera's fault that some of the detail is lost. Mm. Something like this. Just a rough... A rough idea of what we want to get. So maybe something like this. And for this... I'm gonna end up around here. Yeah. Now let me disable the snapping. Uh, so this is the line we kind of have to follow. Um. Well, this is gonna be very, very tricky. Maybe this, we can get away with pushing this just a tiny bit like so. So, we kind of respect it here, but let's try to be a little, ah, this is gonna be sucky. Hmm. Well, 
tangential lines maybe. This one has, I don't know, let's see. Uh, it's trying to snap to this point over here. So, well, I suppose this is the best we can do. For now. And I'll just have to kind of eyeball it a little bit. So, and this one looks okay -ish. Although I am not entirely happy with how it looks on this side. This groove is not perfect, so either we have to kind of Hmm. I think I'm just gonna have to pull one of these a little bit. Yeah, that gets closer to reality. It's not still perfect. This one would need to go a little higher. Yeah, I think we can do this, more or less. Okay, so this is our first ring, the ring of power. <laughs> uh, this is just for reference right now. Uh, this one would also translate to the one next to it. Also, I said, some of the detail is being lost here, so I am kind of unsure, maybe a little bit more like so. And is this... Hmm. Oops. Actually, no, I'm right. Uh, yeah, these things are getting in our way a little bit because there are there is some shining on this edge and it kind of bl blends in with this part, so I, it, it, it tricks me a little bit. Anyway, I think that should look okay for now. I'm gonna try to reproduce this on this side. So let's try a darker color. Although this is kind of manual fiddling, uh, the end result is gonna look good. I think we're getting close, but I don't know. Uh, it's difficult to see with this color. Ah, gosh. Uh, let's try an orange. Purple. More opacity. Maybe. And we will need to pull this one a little bit as well. So this one needs to go just a tiny bit like so and maybe a bit more like this because the angle is kind of distorting the the radius it's small it's unnoticeable of course you can just pull it however you wish um we're gonna take care of this shimmering and stuff a little bit later because this is we can we can kind of trick our way through this. 
there is also this part but this one i think we can because this is kind of lost here this groove is not super deep so at one point it just vanishes so we worked with this save because it's always nice to save now let's try to kind of place this other one this other one is a little bit crazy it's already getting smaller as you can see So maybe just a tiny bit smaller. This one could also benefit from going a bit smaller. Um, and this one definitely needs to be small. And we need to fix that angle now. Not by much, but it's microscopic. We just push it a bit more. Pull it a bit more here. Oh, oops. And voila. as close as we can maybe a little bit more good 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 and now we're going to duplicate this pull it over here let's go with something blue 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 I know there are some very specific ways to kind of, you have to disable all of these and uh, you can snap it perfectly, but I find it that I can do it much faster by hand sometimes. And it's also good practice because your eye gets more accurate and you can fix some details really, really fast without trying to tinker too much. Okay, I think that looks okay-ish. And we have a last one. The last one should go over here. And we should kind of... Hmm. Interesting. Technically, it should end up something like here. But since we're going to make this smaller... It's not working as intended if we do it like that. So we're going, we're going to kind of have to trick our way through this. So this, this corner is not perfect over here. It should be something more or less around here somewhere. Okay. In which case, mm, I don't really like that this one is pushed too much gonna fix it like so I'm gonna push this just a tiny bit perfect and this part is gonna be tricky we have to be careful how much I think we should get rid of this oh <laughs> well that didn't go as expected
Yeah, it's not working as I thought. Um, so I'll just kind of have to wiggle our way through this. Um, with this one's just a bit more to justify that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. more I think that looks okayish let's look well it there is a lot of detail so it's gonna make us a little dizzy at the beginning, but with enough patience, I think this can look something extraordinary. Okay, so if we have this direction going on like so, this one needs to be on top of everything because it's the edge. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Uh, this one is going to be covered. Although I think if we're gonna make it as a cover, we should kind of extend this geometry a bit. Uh, maybe something to tilt the edges to make it easier for us to work with. And one more for good luck. Okay. Yeah, that starts to look a little bit better. Mm, we don't have to worry about the interior, so we can kind of mask the interior. Although we have to be, well, it has to be the exterior that we have to mask for those groups. Although there, this, these circles are more for us to orient where the grooves will come and we can just kind of create our own thing. Ah, we shall see. Uh, for the moment, we're just gonna leave this prototype at what it is right now. Because I need um, a little bit of fresh, of a fresh mind to approach this. Uh, <laughs> this is tricking me a little bit because it's going into this uh, this edge. But yeah, doesn't look too shabby. We have to figure out how to make some of these little details after uh, after we finish with the main things. I think we're gonna focus next time to just create this part uh, with the grooves and then we are going to focus maybe a little bit on the edge details at first and then on the uh, surface details and interior. I think this is going to take the most part, the most work, because it has kind of like very wild, some very wild um, details in there. Just to give you an idea, um, you can see the shadow, you can see the highlights, but there is also like this edge, edges here that are very, very sneaky. So we'll have to make some some details to come to life. Okay. I love it. Picasso. Perfect. Well, catch you guys next time. Stay awesome. And see ya. Bye, 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 bye.